Welcome back my people, welcome back today, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be reacting to the 10 most expensive houses in the world. I'm very excited for this video, before I start this video, make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe and yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. There is certainly no place like home. Whether it's in a big ranch in the countryside or a small comfy space in the center of the city, a home is a place where we always want to go back to. This is where we rest at the end of a day full of work, and a space to find comfort after long travels around the world. For some people, the idea of home is beyond just having a place to rest and eat. For them, home can be anything from a twin tower building in the center of infinite gardens okay, to a living room with 360 degree views of the closest ocean. Today, we'll be looking at 10 of the most incredible and expensive homes on Earth. Keep in mind that our picks are not only expensive, but they are okay, very unique in their own ways. They feature spaces that you never thought could exist inside someone's home. Make sure you watch them all. Perhaps you'll get ideas for your own dream home. Number one will definitely change the way you think of home so far, though. Shit. Number 10. Chateau Artisan. Who doesn't want to live surrounded by water? Back in the day, people would dig ditches around their homes and fill them with water to protect them from invaders. Today, surrounding your home with water is more of a luxury rather than a protection technique. Nah. That is the case of Chateau Artisan, a French-style house surrounded nah. by water that looks like something out of nah. a fairy tale. On one end of the property... This was not for me still, I'm gonna be real. Like, I can't swim in it, so this one ain't really for me, but the house looks nice and that, but me? I can't swim, so I wanna stay far away from more, but it's a very nice house still. Find the staircase entrance right after you walk through the courtyard, which will definitely make you feel like you've traveled back to medieval times or you know to the set of Legend of no. Zelda or Skyrim. It's not for me, or... still. On the opposite end, there is an amazing square pool with a fountain in the middle. At this property, you can also find a terrace jacuzzi, a koi pond, and of course, swans that get to enjoy the benefit of having this man made lake. It's too much water, man. The three story man. house, which is at the center Way of the property, has eight bedrooms and eight bathrooms. The building is not as big as other buildings on our list, but the outdoor space definitely makes up for it. Number 9. Number nine. Celine Dion's Celine Dion. Water Park Mansion. Okay. You've heard her music, you might have seen her perform, you might have bought all of her CDs, but did you ever get to see what Celine Dion's house looks like? Down in Jupiter Island, Florida, one of the most expensive places in the USA, Celine Dion built a mansion, a space to go back to after all those weeks of touring around the world. With Bahamian vibes at the edge of the Atlantic wow. Ocean, this mansion has 13 Bro, bedrooms and 14 bathrooms, surrounded by wide open spaces and amazing... Wait, what? 13 bedrooms? And 14 bathrooms? For what? 14 bathrooms? For what? Nah, I can't lie, that's a bit mad still, but I guess if you got the peas like that, but 14 bathrooms? Bruv, that's insane still. What makes her place so unique is the water-sized pool that sits at the front of her palace looking home. It even has a water slide. Mm, that's nice. Still. Back in 2017, Celine wow. finally put her home in the market wow. with a $72 million price wow. tag. But she ended up selling it wow. for only $27 million. This is beautiful. I man. suppose the real question is, do you think it's worth that yeah, much? Yeah, it's worth it still. Number 8. San Francisco Eco-Friendly okay. Mansion. Now that people are constantly okay. looking for ways to make a positive impact on their environment, it makes sense okay. that a house on this is not only expensive, but also eco-friendly. We're talking about Ooh. this $40 million house in San Francisco's Billionaire Row. Got them. About 40% of its energy comes yes. from the sun, and it has rainwater collection system that can hold more than 5,000 gallons of water. Mm. Can you just imagine that? This house pretty much works in harmony with nature. Oh my with days. seven bedrooms and twelve bathrooms, this house had to go through a long process to get where it is. I can't lie so far. This is my favorite one, but this is beautiful. San Francisco, big man. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful house. The end result is rewarding after all that time, however. This house is fully automated. Lights, music, temperature, doors, everything can be mm. controlled from a personal device such as a smartphone or a computer. Damn. Even the light bulbs will adjust automatically if you were to move the artwork or nah, furniture this is it. underneath Still, them. This one's nice. Whether it's day or night, the non-reflective glass windows offer incredible views of San Francisco and its most popular landmarks such as the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. What better way to spend $40 million than using it towards a house as green as this one? No, this one's nice still, can't even lie. 
The best time to fight fraud is Trish. before it happens. Number seven. seven. 924 Bel Air Mansion. If you grew up in the 90s, you might remember Bel Air from the show that made Will Smith famous. Yes, sir. Too young for that? Well, here's what you need to know. Bel Air is where rich people live. Yes, sir. One of the most expensive neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Yes, sir. And today, one of the properties on this neighborhood made oh, to our my list. God. We're talking about the mansion on 924 Bel Air, nicknamed Billionaire. This place stands oh, out among others because of all the entertainment you can find God. in it. A four-lane bowling lounge, a 4K movie theater for 40 people, a large infinity oh pool with an outdoor pop-up theater, an auto gallery, oh and around God. 100 curated art installations. The amenities are simply insane. Nah, I'm gonna be real. This, I said the previous one was the best one, but this one right here, the Bel Air one, this is it. Imagine having a party over here or like just link up with a man in this yard, bro. That's a movie right there, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Whoever created this house, big man, well done, car. It's fantastic. It's like somebody came wow. in and brought L.A. to their house. Okay, the house no. is fully stocked with two champagne and wine cellars and a massive candy wall. Yes, sir. Through its windows, you can get a glimpse of the L.A. skyline. Wouldn't you like to live here? Yes. Well, when the house hit the market, it was listed at a U.S. $250 million, which at the time made the most expensive home in America. However, after multiple price cuts, the property was finally sold at only $94 million in October of 2019. Damn. Number 6. The Alessetras. Next on our list is a mansion down on the coast of St. Jean Cap Ferrat in the south of France. We've actually talked about this home before on a previous list, why not check that out as well. This place is the perfect combination of luxury and history. The mansion has existed since 1830. And since 1850, when it was first nah. bought, Villa Les Cedres has been home to many residents, including King Leopold II this was from not Belgium. For me still. Before becoming a proper residence, the property was an olive tree farm, which Looks explains the old. many 300 year old olive trees. How many I'm olive trees again? Well, they surround the entire house. There are lots of palm trees and cedar trees as well. After all, Cedres is the word for cedar in French, and I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. Either way, it's expected to find that kind of tree around. The interior of the house preserves a lot of the history from its previous occupants. There's a massive library with a book dating back to the 1600s, which is worth several thousand euros. The house was put on the market back in 2017, and a mystery buyer finally agreed to pay 200 million euros in August of 2019. Number 5. Number type three. Eden Towers Sky Ooh. Penthouse. Now, we know a penthouse is pretty much the expensive version of an apartment, but can nice. a penthouse be expensive and interesting enough to make it to this list? Absolutely. I mean, at $357 million, Monaco's Edon Tower Sky Shit. Penthouse promises to be the most expensive penthouse ever. With majestic views of the Mediterranean Sea and endless views of Monaco, this place will make you forget you are inside a five-story penthouse. No, I call that Monaco some penthouses, man. That is one of the largest buildings on the pen. Mediterranean coast. Need to release some stress? Just walk out or slide down to this house's circular infinity pool that's connected Man's to the main slide, building to a water man. slide. If you thought homes inside a vertical building would make things more compact and simple, you might want to think again. Number 4. Antilia in Mumbai, the most expensive in the world. This is Antilia, and it's considered the most expensive the house in the world. It took $1 billion to build it, but some people one say billion. its current value is closer to $2 billion. What can be so special about this odd-looking building? Well, down in the southern part of Mumbai, Antilia is the home to Mukesh Ambani, the richest man in Asia and one of the richest men in all over the world. This building is only 27 stories high, but don't let those numbers fool you. The ceilings on some floors are so double the regular height, which makes Antilia as high as a 60-story building. At this home, you can find helipads, a parking space for up to 168 cars, a theater Shit. that can comfortably host 50 people, terrace gardens, a spa, and even a temple. I get why this building is so expensive. Nope. I'm gonna be real, see that one? I can't lie, the, the, the house was nice, but it's not for me still. Like, it's, just, it's just overdone. Like The structure is overdone for me. Yeah. Overdone. Three. Bill Gates House. Bill Gates. This Liz wouldn't be complete Money without man. Bill Gates on it. You can only expect someone as wealthy as him to be the owner of the most extravagant homes on earth. This house has more bathrooms than bedrooms. What? It also took seven years, $63 million, in the hands of 300 construction workers to complete this home. Bill named his house Xanadu 2.0 based on the movie Citizen Kane. 
Xenadu 2.0 interacts with its surroundings to regulate its temperature efficiently. While most people prefer to display works of art on their walls, the walls of this place are filled with computer screens displaying different paintings and photography. These screens can display your favorite artwork with just a touch of a button. Xanadu 2.0 also has a pool with its own music system, a trampoline room, an art deco style movie theater, and a reception hall it's where they can host a dinner party for around Excuse 200 me. guests. The food can come from one of the six kitchens spread throughout different corners of the house, making it ready to host events at any given moment. Nice. And I'd actually like to get an invite from Bill to check this out. I hear he gives out Xboxes as party favors. Now it's time for the day's best pick. I really like this kind what of pool with glass walls. These pools are very modern and inviting. When I came across this image, oh, I started to wonder what it would so be beautiful. like to live in a place where I can swim surrounded by the sounds of nature. Water so peng, but it's a shame that I can't swim for shit. Because they really inspired me. Number two. The Fish House in Singapore. Singapore. Nothing compares with the heat in Southeast Asia, and there is no better way to enjoy it than having a house with an ocean front in the Ooh, lush landscape nice. of Singapore. Such is the case of the Fish House, a tropical bungalow that was built in 2009 with the goal of creating a living space in close relationship with nature. This was easily accomplished by putting the pool right yeah, in the middle of the nice. triple light garden yeah. and an endless ocean view. The view is in fact present at the different naturally ventilated spaces of the house. The place is compact yet full of exotic features. There's a media room at the yeah, basement level nice. with an acrylic window that constantly reminds us of the house's connection to nature. Yeah, this is nice. The like window allows natural light into the room as well as views out into the pool. I like this one. The house has plenty of green spaces for lounging and enough photovoltaic panels to bring enough energy to power up the whole house. I hear some people have a hard time living in nature for too long, but I'm sure they would change their mind if they lived here. Yeah, I, I like said this the one. best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get ten years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really works. Okay. Good up. Number one. Let's get it. Brunei's Palace. Okay. On the northern part of the island of Borneo, there is a small nation called Brunei. This little country is home to the largest private residence in the world, the Astana Nurul Iman. This literally translates into the Palace of the Light of Faith. The construction of this massive palace was completed in 1984 at a decent cost of 1.4 billion. Only, you know. You're wondering how large is the largest place in the world? Looking at some numbers might give you an idea. The place has 1,788 rooms, including 257 bathrooms. Mm. It also has five swimming pools, 44 stairwells, and 18 elevators. You thought Bill Gates' dining hall was big? Well, it doesn't compare to the Brunei's palace. It has a capacity of up to 5,000 people. It In also a has house. a mosque that can easily fit 1,500 people, which is not surprising given the fact that Brunei... 5,000 people in a house. 15,000 people in a mosque. Bro, that's a whole... What? In the house? Eh? Nah, that's insane still. I can't care. That's mad. That is mad. That is crazy, bro. That's insane. I can't even lie. ...considered a predominantly Muslim nation. The property has 110 different garages where the Sultan keeps his 7,000 cars, including his Ferrari, Lamborghini, Seven? Aston Martins, and many... A nigga dropped 7k cars. 7,000 cars. For why? You're not gonna drive any 7,000, bro. You can't even drop half of it, bro. What? Nah, that's insane. 7,000 cars. For what? <sighs> Shit, if you got money like that, then get them. But, eesh. Other vehicles that he owns. Some of them are custom made, even. If that wasn't enough, there is also an air conditioned stable for the Sultan's 200 ponies. The Sultan surely knows how to live lavishly. How much is your dream house? How much is your current house? Have any of our current picks inspired you? Let us know in the comment section down below and I'll see yeah, you all good. next time everybody. Have a good day. I can't lie my peoples. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My favorite one was the Belair one, definitely. Make sure you guys comment down below which one was your favorite house. Remember to like, remember to comment, remember to subscribe. Yeah, I do the shit for my guys. Left thing on me, they gon' ride. All these haters tryna block my shine, I'ma always stay on my.